Hello everybody, it's Tim McCamus, continuing on with our composite series. This episode we're going to deal with flat panels, just flat, different thicknesses of flat carbon panels and what they're used for and, and where their application is good and where it's not so good. So I've got a variety of stuff here, it's all different sizes and it starts out from quarter inch thick and it goes all the way down to 035 thick. Everything has a unique purpose for the, the lamination that's done for it. it and it's, it, it really depends on what part of the car or where we're going to use it at and what its application is, is how we lay it up. So for instance, uh, the quarter inch panels we can use for a lot of different things that have a, a pretty high stress load on them. One of our main uses for this is we make the parachute handles. We make all the handles for the car. Uh, we'll make the fire bottle handle, all of the different styles of parachute handles we have. All those things are, are cut in our CNC mills out of this quarter inch panel. But um, all of our panels that we have, when we send them out, they're covered with a protective lam uh, laminate that will keep them from getting scratched and they're easier to work with. So if you look at this stuff on the table, it looks kind of dull. I'll, I'll peel this back and kind of you can kind of see what the carbon looks like underneath. But that's why this stuff looks a little uh, flat because uh, it's all covered. These are usable panels that I just pulled off the shelf to do this video. So that's one thing that's nice about all of our stuff. When you, when you buy a panel or a small piece, whatever size it is, we, we, can, uh, we can supply this stuff in one foot square pieces, two foot square, full sheets, half sheets, uh, pretty much any size that, that uh, will fit your needs, we can supply. But it will always come with the, uh, this uh, protective film on it so that you can mark on it and keep the surface from getting scratched up while you're doing the fabrication on it. So uh, again, like the quarter inch stuff, we'll use for a variety of different pieces, um, mostly for handles and things like that. Uh, if you step down to this next piece, this is gonna be an eighth inch thick, so we have a quarter and an eighth. So this is 125,000 thick. Um, this panel is good for mounting accessories on that are that are going to have a little weight to them. For instance, if you've got a panel over on the right side of the car that the electronics are mounted to, maybe the MSD is mounted to it, maybe there's some timers, this is a good panel for that. And uh, this is what we're going to be considered one side. It's going to be finished on one side, means that it's going to have the nice carbon finish on one side, and then it'll be raw on the back side. So um, a real easy trick for this, so let's say um, you want um, to have a nice finish on both sides. You can take a piece of this thinner material. So if I were going to make this for a, um, um, let's say an electrical panel mount, I can cut this out to whatever shape I want. And then I can just put this on the back side of it, this real thin light panel. So for instance, let's say it's in the door X of the car and it's got kind of a triangular shape to it and it's mounted and this side would be facing inside, this side would be facing out. So you don't want this raw finish on either side. You can just simply take this um, thin panel and use it as a backer. And you can just clamp it in under the tabs that you use to mount the panel, or you can actually smear a little bit of epoxy on there and bond it together. It doesn't really matter. Um, the, um, the fitment is gonna be nice and flat, and once you pinch it in between those tabs, it will, um, it'll hold it tight and it'll look like it's finished on both sides. So that's, uh, making a panel double finish on both sides is, is easy for us to do, but it's more time consuming and it's much more expensive to do. So um, a lot of these panels are gonna be, um, uh, have a, uh, the grade A finish on just one side. So um, step down from that, this is a piece of 088 or 090, um, depending on what run it is. But this is a good panel for mounting um, things like accessories with too that maybe wouldn't be as heavy as some of the ignition components or some of the controllers and things like that. So this panel is a little thinner than the eighth inch. It's still got plenty of rigidity to it, especially if you mount it with some, um, some quarter turn fastener tabs or, or just a lot of times we'll just use a small um, weld on tab and put a 1032 uh, machine screw through it to hold it onto the chassis. So again, you can do the same thing with this. You, if you wanted to double uh, uh, the finish on both sides, you can double this up with this thinner panel and uh, um, make, the, make it look like it's finished on both sides. Um, another thing that you need to pay attention to is these um, the panels. Uh, this is a twill weave carbon. So um, 
it has a distinctive pattern to it. Um, meaning that if you, if you pull this back, you can see that there's a direction. There's, a, there's kind of a common direction and it's, and it's from the reflection of the light off of the carbon being run in two different directions. So this is a two by two twill. What that means is it's two under one over and that's how it gets that look to it. So that's like this called a twill weave. And so one strand will go under two and then back over one and under two. It gives it kind of a unique look, but it also does have a, have a grain to it or a, or a pattern direction. So when you're making these um, fit the chassis, you need to keep that in mind so that, that it, the pattern runs with the car, one, runs with the tubes that you're putting it up against, or let's say it runs level with the car. Most of the time we will run it, align it with a tube, but if, if the panels are in conjunction with another one, so if there's two panels close together, you want to make sure that grain is both running the same way. So you'll see when you, when you get this stuff, how if you turn it, you can see how the grain runs in, in a 45 degree direction. It, it, structurally, it's not important, but cosmetically, it makes it a nicer finish if you pay attention to the which way that goes. So this is a 088, and then we step down here to, uh, we've got two different thin panels here. This is going to be our uh, standard carbon fiber sheet panel. And this is the same uh, sheet, but it's vacuum bag. So this is, a, this is a standard wet layup, and this is a vacuum bag sheet. So both of these are going to be the same thickness. Um, the vacuum bagged uh, sheet will be a lot stronger because this is just a standard wet layup. And, you know, you can, you can see by the back of it the difference in it. So this one's going to be a little shinier. This one's gonna be dull and flat, and this kind of goes back to that uh, peel ply finish that I was showing you in the first video. This is what that peel ply finish does here. It gives it that nice satin smooth finish on there. But these fibers have been compressed under vacuum while curing, so you get a much tighter compression of, of the fabric and the resin in there, and, and the excess resin is pulled out of it. So obviously this is a much less expensive panel. Um, this one is going to have it require a lot more labor and a lot more material to make it. So if you're just doing something simple in a car, like uh, maybe you're making door panels or you're, or you're doing some fillers in between the tubs up in the back window, this panel here is perfectly fine for that. Um, but it is so you can see the di th this this panel here. I know they're different lengths, but if I hold it at the same spot, so this panel here is much more flexible than this panel okay this is nice and stiff and if you if you kind of thump on this it sounds kind of dead and this panel here will sound kind of tinny see it'll sound totally different that's how you can tell the difference between the two panels a a bagged panel will sound um, much tinnier when you're thumping it than it will if it's just a wet layup panel so other than the obvious uh, differences from the back side they look the same from the front so uh it's very easy to tell. I mean, this panel here is very flexible, but this panel here would not be. See, that's gonna, that's a lot of pressure to get it to do that. This panel here, I can fold it like this. So again, depending on what the use is, they all have their best fits. You can also use these for exterior pieces. So you could like, if you wanted to build a wing, let's say you wanna build a carbon fiber look wing, you can use these flat panels to build a wing. The only thing that you have to pay attention is, is that the, um, the finish on this is not UV uh, resistant, okay? So uh, if it's out in the sunlight for an extended period of time, it's gonna start um, uh, decaying the, the clear finish on it. So if you do use it for um, an exterior panel, you're gonna need to uh, clear coat that with uh, automotive UV clear, something to give it some protection from the sun. Um, perfectly fine to use it, but um, it will, after three or four months of setting out in the staging lanes, it will eat itself up, start yellowing, and it'll start looking bad. So you do want to protect it. Um, these panels also, you have to use a little common sense when you're using uh, each one because um, structurally they, they have their limits. So we've had some guys uh, that have bought some of these panels and they've used them for some, some exterior panels on mud trucks and, and snowmobiles, different things like that. That's not what this is for, okay? Um, a panel like this, a thicker panel would be good for an exterior like that, but this 
um, is not going to hold up. It's not going to hold up to that severe environment. So you need to go to something a little thicker. Um, just this this particular panel here, it it does more of a cosmetic fill than it does a structural fill. So if you're looking for something to finish off the inside of your car, you can do the floor pans, you can do the door panels, you can do all the fillers in between the tubs, you can kind of finish off the whole inside of the car. If you pair that with one of our carbon fiber tunnel kits, maybe our carbon seat, I mean, you can really make the inside of the, of the chassis look nice with this stuff. And it's very easy to work with. We're gonna discuss some of that in a later video. Um, how to form it, how to drill it, and how to cut it, stuff like that. But this, that's kind of the, uh, the basics of the flat panels. So obviously, if you ever have any questions, uh, definitely talk to our sales guys. They know all about this stuff. They'll tell you everything you need to know. Um, but just like any part for the chassis or any part for the engine, everything has a specific job that it's good for these carbon panels are no different. Some places they do excellent for, but if you use something too light or not structurally sound, it's just gonna um, break on you or deteriorate. So thanks for watching.